Hi Cabrain Box. Welcome to this new episode where we will tackle yet another word problem, the work problems. But before we continue, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you posted for more review topics. You can also avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. We will use the formula shown here to solve work problems. In this formula, X and Y represent the number of hours it takes for two people or machines to do a certain job when working alone. On the other hand, Z represents the number of hours it takes for two people or machines to do the job when they are working together. To better understand this, we can say that in one hour, a person X does 1 over X of the job when he works alone while person Y does 1 over Y of the job when he works alone. On the other hand, in one hour they can do 1 over Z of the job if persons X and Y work together. It sounds complicated but we can work through it by giving these examples a try. Let's go! Bayer and Gerard were told by their mother to mince onions. Bayer can mince 5 onions in 15 minutes while Gerard can do the same in just 10 minutes. How long would it take them to mince the same number of onions if they work together? By analyzing the problem, we know two things. First, Bayer can mince 5 onions in 15 minutes. Second, Gerard can mince 5 onions in 10 minutes. From this we let x be the number of minutes that it takes Bayer to mince 5 onions alone, y be the number of minutes it takes for Gerard to mince 5 onions alone and lastly, z is the number of minutes it takes for Bayer and Gerard to mince 5 onions if they work together. We can get the time they can mince 5 onions together by adding the amount of work they did. From the general formula, we obtain this equation. 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10 equals 1 over z. Solving for the value of z, we get 6. Therefore, together, Bayer and Gerard can mince 5 onions in 6 minutes. Great! We now move on to our next example of work problems. The Soriano family recently bought a new house with three same-sized bedrooms. Ben painted the first room in three hours while Kent painted the second room in five hours. If both Ben and Kent work together to paint the third room, how long would it take them to finish? From this problem, we know two things. First, Ben finished painting the first room in three hours. And second, Kent finished painting a same-sized room in five hours. We then assign variables. We let x be the number of hours it takes for Ben to paint the room, y be the number of hours it takes for Kent to paint a same-sized room, and lastly, we let z be the number of hours it takes for Ben and Kent to paint the third room together. We can get the time they can finish painting a third same-sized room together by adding the amount of work they did. Using the general formula, we get this equation. Solving for z, we get z equals 1 and 7 eighths. Therefore, Ben and Kent can finish painting the third room in 1 and 7 eighths of an hour when they work together. Let's look at this last example. In an event, Anne can wash 100 dishes in 2 hours. When Diane helps her, it only takes one half hour to wash the same number of plates. How long would it take for Diane to wash 100 plates alone? From this problem, we know two things. First, Anne can wash 100 plates alone in two hours. And second, when Diane and Anne work together, it only takes one half hour to wash the same number of plates. We then assign variables to solve this problem. We assume that X is the number of hours it takes for Anne to wash 100 plates alone. Y is the number of hours it takes for Diane to wash 100 plates alone. And lastly, Z is the number of hours it takes for Anne and Diane to wash 100 plates together. We can get the time that it takes for Anne and Diane to wash 100 plates together by adding the amount of work they did. 
Utilizing the general formula for work problems, we have this equation. 1 half plus 1 over y equals 1 over 1 half. After solving the equation we came up with, we get y equals 2 thirds. Therefore, it will take 2 thirds per hour for Diane to wash 100 plates alone. Since we have thoroughly discussed work problems, let us try to expound our knowledge by answering this practice set. You have one minute to answer each item. Good luck! Number 1. During the weekends, David and Mark are tasked to clean the bathroom. Together, they can do it in 10 minutes. Last weekend, Mark had to go out while David had to clean the bathroom alone. If David did the cleaning in 30 minutes, how long can Mark do it? Timer starts now. Time is up. Mark can clean the bathroom in 15 minutes alone. Reading the problem, we know two things. First, together, David and Mark cleans the bathroom in 10 minutes. Second, David cleans the bathroom in 30 minutes. Same as the exercises, we assign variables. In this case, X is for the number of minutes it takes for David to clean the bathroom alone. Y is the number of minutes it takes for Mark to clean the bathroom alone. And Z is the number of minutes it takes for David and Mark to clean the bathroom together. We are to find the amount of time it takes for Mark to clean the bathroom alone and we can get it by subtracting the amount of work David did from when they cleaned the bathroom together. Using the general formula, we can have this equation. 1 over 30 plus 1 over y equals 1 over 10. Solving for y, we get 15. Therefore, if Mark cleans the bathroom alone, he can do it in 15 minutes. Number 2. A bridge is being built in Tacloban City and two teams of 20 people each are contracted to build it. Team A works on Mondays and Wednesdays and can build five pillars of the bridge in three hours. On the other hand, Team B works every Tuesday and Thursdays and can build the same number of pillars in five hours. Every Saturday, the two teams work together. How many hours would it take for them to build five pillars? Timer starts now. Time is up. Team A and B can build five pillars in one and seven eighths of an hour if they work together. 
We just followed the process from our exercises. In this problem we are asked about the time it takes to build the five pillars if both teams work together. Hence, we are looking for the value of our z. We still use the general formula and substitute the value accordingly. We arrive at the equation. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 equals 1 over z. Ultimately, we obtain z equals 15 over 8, or 1 and 7 eighths. Therefore, team A and B can build 5 pillars in 1 and 7 eighths of an hour if they work together. Number 3. Stell and Josh are living in a large old house with their grandparents. They are tasked to wax the floor every Saturday. Stell can finish waxing the floor in one hour while Josh can do the same task in one hour and 30 minutes. If they work together, how long, in minutes, will it take them to finish the task? Timer starts now. Time is up. Stell and Josh can finish waxing the floor together in 36 minutes. We follow the same process from the previous items. In this specific problem, we are to convert the given hours to minutes. So, Stell can do the task in 60 minutes while Josh can do it in 90 minutes. Also, we are asked to solve for the time it takes to finish the task if both Stell and Josh work together. Hence we are to solve for z. Following the general formula for work problems and substituting the values accordingly, we get the equation, 1 over 60 plus 1 over 90 equals 1 over z. Solving for z, we get, z equals 180 over 5, or 36. Therefore, Stell and Josh can finish waxing the floor together in 36 minutes. That's a wrap. Share this video for others to learn too. If you want to learn more, you can avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.